Whether in Somalia, Djibouti, Kenya, or Uganda, people in the Horn of Africa know the threat that is al-Shabaab. It's certainly the most serious security threat within Somalia right now, uh, which is an important country in, in the East Africa region. <clears throat> We're increasingly seeing over the last uh, three years or so, ever since Kenya invaded Somalia in 2011, uh, we're seeing it become a much greater threat to Kenya as well. Al-Shabaab, what the U.S. calls a designated foreign terrorist organization, isn't as strong as it used to be. It's been forced out of Mogadishu and into the Somali countryside by government troops and African Union forces. It's been targeted by U.S. drone strikes, but it's still lethal. In Kampala, Uganda, in 2010, Al-Shabaab set off bombs at two public screenings of the World Cup. More than 70 people were killed. In Kenya, Al-Shabaab has attacked civilians several times. In September 2013, 62 people were killed when the group stormed Nairobi's Westgate Mall. And at the beginning of April, Al-Shabaab members fired on students at Garissa University College. 147 people were murdered. So when U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry visits Nairobi and Djibouti in early May, analysts say he'll bring a message of economic, political, and moral support. But what won't be on offer? Promises of increased military involvement. Washington is extremely reluctant to do so since the Black Hawk Down debacle of 1991. And observers say such an offer wouldn't be popular anyway. Uh, the U.S., of course, didn't colonize any parts of Africa, but still um, you know there, there are leaders on the continent who talk about the neo-imperialism of, of the United States and they do that because it gets resonance with their audience so we have to be very careful about about boots on the ground meaning that John Kerry's visit to the region will be more about showing moral support for these countries and their fight against al-Shabaab rather than about the US doing the fighting for them Rosalind Jordan Al Jazeera the State Department